Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. This one's just a little bit different. We're gonna take a look at both these cars, the Lamborghini Huracan and the Ferrari 488 Spider, and find out why they're both over $200,000. Let's take a look. All right, so let's take a look at the Lamborghini Huracan. So this is a 2018. It is a 5.2 liter V10 engine. And what's really cool about this is the cover. I really like how it's sheeted, but then when you open it up, you can actually take a look at the engine. Crazy, super cool. I like, I like the bars in it. Uh, Lamborghini just has a classic look of their engines, super, super clean. Um, you obviously can't see a lot in here. You can obviously just see the base of the engine and that's really about it. So this engine produces 578 horsepower and 398 pound pounds feet of torque, which honestly doesn't sound like a lot. I mean, you got these Hellcats, you got these Demons, you have cars that are producing a thousand horsepower. So this feels like nothing, but it can go zero to 60 in 2.5 seconds, which I think is absolutely crazy. And the quarter mile on this thing is 10.2 seconds. So this Lamborghini MSRP is about $210,000. And honestly, for 2.50 to 60, that's absolutely incredible. Uh, but you can't really buy them for that. I mean, when you're buying them new, you're gonna find them for about 250, 260, maybe 240. So MSRP is not something you can typically get on this. Something that's interesting about it is there's a lot of hexagons. So back here, on the uh, back portion on the bumper, you can see, or not the bumper, but the, the mesh here, those are all hexagons. On the door handle, this is a hexagon right here. Um, the mirror's a hexagon. Uh, you have hexagons. Um, you have, there's a hexagon on the gas cap right here, and there's tons inside. And I know that's kind of a weird thing to notice, but they really like their shapes, which is interesting. Let's, let's take a look inside and see how the interior looks. All right, so something that's cool when you open up the doors on the Huracan is they have the light that shines below and it's, I mean, super, super cool feature. I mean, it just, it just shows who they are, what they got. I think it's a really cool feature and obviously Huracan sign right when you're walking in. And of course you see it on the mats. Uh, let's, let's take a look at the interior and see how it feels and see what kind of buttons. Oh, oh. These things aren't very easy to get into. That's the one thing is they just, they're really low, their stance. But when you're in it, it just feels so low to the ground. I mean, cars like these kind of feel like, kind of feel like go-karts. I mean, they're kind of like toys more than anything. Um, something that's cool while you're in here, I really, really, really like the buttons that they have. They're super unique to Lamborghini. You will not find another car that has them like this. I mean, look at these, and they feel good. They move really well. And there's tons of different things that you can do. So you can move, let's just um, turn on everything. Look at this, you, you can literally, you literally open and close your windows from these, which is crazy. With these gauges, you control a lot. You control your lift, which will show in the front. You can lift the car and lower it, maybe if you're going over bumps, if you're gonna be on a track or something. Um, and something that these cars don't have is they don't have infotainment. I mean, there's gauges here, we can see your oil temp and your battery life and your uh, oil level um, and your pressure, I mean, but that's it. I mean, that's really all you get there. All the infotainment that you're gonna have is on your dash in the front of you. And it's kind of cool because there's a couple different things that you can see on here. All right, so to control your infotainment, your, your dash right here, it's gonna be this gauge cluster right here. So there's tons of different things that you can see. You can see your car, you can see, uh, tone, which is your music, your radio, all that kind of stuff. But let's take a look at a uh, car. From there, you can see your vehicle settings, you can see your driver assist, and you can see any servicing that needs to be done and has a little picture of the car, which is kind of cool. Um, and you can even go in here and control different things. So you can control the exterior lighting. Uh, you can control the center locking. Um, super cool. So everything is controlled right here. Something that's interesting about this car is a lot of the controls are right on the steering wheel. So you have your uh, turn signals right here, which is interesting to stop them. You just press this. You have your flashing lights, so you can flash your headlights from here, which is super cool. I mean, you really don't see that very often. Um, you have your wiper blades. As you can see, there's a button right here for that. And then whenever you wanna put it into sport or Corsa mode, there's a button for it right here. So essentially everything's at your fingertips. Um, and then there's some more gauge clusters over here. All right, so let's jump back into uh, Strata, Sport, and Corsa and talk about what those mean. So your Strata mode is like your standard. It's your basic mode. You're gonna get the best uh, performance on fuel and stuff like that. It's just, it's just standard, it's just basic. But when you jump into your Sport mode, that's when you're gonna go into rear wheel drive 
and it's going to have a very different feel. Now, when you jump into your Corsa, that's like top of the line. That's that's the mode that you're going to go into when you're in, want track performance and are going to be going really, really fast. That's kind of like your your speed mode or your launch mode in kind of a sense. Um, so if you're if you're going to go on a track, you're probably going to be going in Corsa mode. The last thing that I want to look at in Lamborghini, and it's I'd say it's more of a con than anything. It's definitely not a pro. Look at these visors. Like here's my here's my cell phone, and look at this visor. This is two iPhones put together, and a standard visor is probably like four, five iPhones put together if you're gonna put it together, but they're very small. When you put this little mirror down, <laughs> down, I mean, there's you're not really gonna use it much. And I guess when you're in a car like this, maybe you're not gonna use it. Maybe you will, but if you wanted to, you're really not gonna see much. So let, let's go take a look at the the Ferrari and see what it has to offer. All right, so let's take a look at the Ferrari 488 Spider. When, you, when you're when you looking at Ferraris, you're look, looking at a little bit of a different price point. I wouldn't call these exact matches, like these probably aren't exact comparables. I'd probably compare the Huracan closer to a 458, but this is what we have today. So this is what we're gonna compare to. The MSRP on the Ferrari 488 Spider for the 2017 is $310,000, which is about a $100,000 jump from the Lamborghini Huracan. But let's take a look at, I'm gonna look at the engine bay, this one has something unique that you're not gonna see on every single one, and that's a glass back. These, I, I think they just look so, so cool. And, oh, something about the Ferrari engines just gets me so excited. The classic red color, I mean, that's something you're gonna see on, I think, majority of Ferraris. I mean, that's kind of the color that they have of the engines, but they just look so clean. I mean, something about this, oh. Almost fell. Something about this just feels really, really good. The Ferrari does a very good job um, with their engines. And I think something that I really like about Ferrari is their tr transmission. And same with the Huracan though. Like the shifts on the 488 and the Ferraris are just so, so fast. And when you compare it to, I'm probably gonna get hate for this, but when you compare it to uh, like a Lamborghini Aventador, the worst. I mean, I, I don't know who likes shifting gears in a, in a Lamborghini Aventador, but it's like the worst feeling ever. But when you compare it to something like this, this feels really, really good. So this engine is a 3.9 liter V8, which, I mean, is smaller. I mean, you're looking at three seconds, zero to 60, which is crazy. You're talking about a smaller engine and you're talking about a 0.5 slower, zero to 60 from 2.5 to three seconds, zero to 60, but an additional $100,000 for the Ferrari. Is it the name? Is it the look? I, I mean, I'm, I'm not really sure, but uh, definitely cool car. Let's, let's take a look around it a little bit. Something that, the way you're gonna distinguish the Ferrari 488 is these air intakes right here. This is, this is really kind of a good way to uh, partially distinguish. I know some of the newer Ferraris have been making um, in air takes like this. Uh, another good way is the uh, air vents from the, on the front of the hood and kind of the indents of it. Like from the front, it's pretty easy to tell that it's Ferrari 488. This being one of the main reasons. Like when I look at the front of this, I can tell that it's 488 from the indents and from the air intakes up there. Um, and then just the bottom, bottom of the grill. I mean, it's honestly just a very classic look. Ferrari has a very unique headlight. It's something you're just not gonna see in a lot of other cars. And I would say that that's what makes companies like this unique is they're doing stuff that's very, very specific to their cars and it's stuff that you're not gonna see on a lot of other cars. I know some of the mechanical stuff, like some of the pieces and stuff are used from other companies and I know people talk about that, but when you look at how it looks and the things that they have in them, they're just very different. So let's take a look inside this one. Um, I, I love the interior, it's white on red, which is super cool. Uh, oh. This one kind of feels a little easier to get into. I don't know if it's just me in my head. That's what you're paying the extra $100,000 for actually it's easier to get into. <clears throat> uh, something that's unique is the key fob. Key, key fob's cool. I mean, this, this is a really cool fob. Um, and it, they have a little rest here. So you can put your key fob right here and it just sits there. Kind of nice. I guess you're, you're driving and it, it'll just sit there for you. What's cool about Ferrari is Essentially, everything that you need is right here, and it's kind of similar to Lamborghini. Your uh, turning signal's right here. You have your flashing lights if you want to flash somebody. 
Obviously, you have your paddle shifters when you want to shift gear and you're in manual. Um, you have your suspension, which I don't know how much people are using that. Obviously, your start stop button, which in the Lamborghini, it's down here, so it's not right here. And then you have your different modes, and then you have your windshield wipers. Um, so really, everything that you need, essentially, is right here. Something that's interesting about Ferrari is when you look at the different gears, like I'm looking at R, Auto, PS. I honestly don't even know what PS stands for, but there's no drive. There's no D for drive. So I remember the first time I was in a Ferrari, it, it took me a minute. I had to like look around and find, I had to actually probably look it up on Google or something like how do I put this Ferrari in a drive? Cause it doesn't, I mean, it doesn't show you anywhere. It doesn't say anything. So you start it up and all you do is push down on the brakes, shift into gear one, and then it's in drive, which is kind of cool. Um, just interesting, it's I guess hard to find. Let's take a look at the glove box. Glove box is pretty unique as well. I mean, there's two sections uh, to put stuff. I don't know what the difference is and I don't know why it would be, but I guess it's there. Um, th this is kind of an interesting thing. Obviously the, do the door panel is pretty, pretty standard. I mean, you have your door opener, you have your um, gauge so you can switch the mirrors and you can um, you know, change where the position. You can open the gas, you can open the frunk. Um, but there's no, there's no, there's no mirrors. Like you can't roll your mirrors down and then if you look around, you're going to find them right here in the center console. But then you think, well, how do I lock it? How do I unlock the car? Like I, I mean, you have to kind of look around a little bit, not seeing it here. You think it'd be in like a standard spot, you know? I mean, if it's not going to be here, it's probably going to be here. Look around. It's not. I mean, it's, it's really not here. It's up here. And that's something that's very strange. I don't know why they did it, but sure enough they did. And you press this button and it'll lock and unlock the car. So I think a lot of this, the stuff with Ferraris is, I mean, it's not like you need a manual, but there's gonna be certain things that you're probably gonna have to look up, or maybe you're just not gonna know right out of the gate. Um, similar to Lamborghini, there's no infotainment center, really. The infotainment center is really kind of in front of the driver on the dash. Um, and everything else is kind of just, everything else is just kind of buttons and, and little switches and stuff. All right, so let's start this up. I'm gonna put the top down and see that process and let's just see how this thing sounds. All right, so let's see how this sounds. So the button's right here, put the top down, just gonna push down, hold it down, the mirrors are gonna go down first, as you can see the top's gonna go, go up, and it just, fold, it just folds back. I think this sounds much much better i mean this thing sounds so mean this thing's obviously a bit louder um and yeah this thing, this thing sounds really really good the the when the top comes down though it's very interesting i i haven't seen a, a top do that i mean it literally just folds back the the piece comes up folds back and then it kind of covers it that's that's pretty interesting um let's take a look at there's something else that i want to show you There's the, the Huracan's leaving. Look from the back, I mean, it looks so good. It looks so good. All right, so let's take a look at this. So when somebody's driving their Ferrari and maybe they can't hear it well enough, which I don't know, wouldn't be able to, I mean, it's so, so loud. There's a button right here that will just open and close this little window right here. Look at this. So you can roll it down. It's not gonna work as well just because the top's down, but it'll give you kind of an idea. This thing, typically, when the roof is on, the windows all the way up and then you can roll it down and from what I've heard it's just so you can hear the car better I mean when you have it rolled down of course you're going to because the engines right there uh, but that's a pretty unique feature and I think I think Ferrari really prides themselves in the sound of their cars which I would too I mean if I had a car that sounded this good I would be very excited about it as well so obviously we can't take a final look at the Lamborghini all we can do is take a look at the 
uh, Ferrari. Let's let's look at the front real quick while we have it. Um, let's pop it. So the, all right. So last thing I want to take a look at before I get my final thoughts on these two cars is the frunk. All right, that's what they call the front trunk. I mean, there's no engine there, so of course you gotta put something, gotta have some space. So open the door, it's gonna be right here on the bottom panel. There it is. Let's see, let's see if there's kind of like the similar latch if you were to have an engine. I'm assuming there is. Oh, there it is. It stays up, nice. Um, so something that you're gonna get when you have a Ferrari 48 and a frunk is this, I'm, I'm assuming this comes with it. This is like a cover that you'd cover the car with. Super nice material, just classic Ferrari red. I mean, they do a lot of stuff in their Ferrari red, which is just a classic color. Um, and then they give you a couple little booklets and, and things. So let's take a look at what this includes. So this is uh, actually a kit for your tires. If you need to do a tire change on the side of the road, which would kind of be scary in a $310,000 car, I'd be kind of nervous to do that. Um, next, what they give you is, let's see what this is. Oh, another, another. so that was the tools for the tire kit. This is, this will actually blow up the tire. So if, you know, it's just low on air, this will fill it up. That is pretty cool. Most cars won't give you that. I mean, there's, there's very few that will actually give you something like that. And then the last thing are just the handbooks and stuff. Let's see. This thing actually has the front sticker of what it costs. Suggested retail price. Before I say it out loud, take a guess. What would you guess this 2017 Ferrari 48 Spider costs? Take a guess, comment below. $328,000. $328,000. So that's suggested price uh, from a dealer for something like this. The Lamborghini, which obviously isn't here, went out on a rental. Um, MSRP is around 210,000, but again, typically they go for about 240,000. My question to you is, what would you rather have? Would you rather have the classic, classic Ferrari, very good sounding, 3.9 liter V8 engine for 330,000 and the 0 to 63 seconds, or would you rather have the 240,000 or 210 MSRP Lamborghini Huracan with a V10 engine and a 2.5 liter, or 2.5 zero to 60. That's a tough one. I would say if money wasn't my determining factor, I'd probably say, I'd probably say Ferrari. I mean, just because the feel, the sound, it's just really, really good look. If money was in determination, I'd probably pick the Huracan. I mean, you're getting a very similar thing. Uh, the only difference is obviously brand, speed, engine size, <laughs> which is kind of a bit, uh, but they're both super cool cars and that's it. I, I appreciate everybody watching. Let me know your comments below. Let me know which one you'd rather have and I'll see you in the next video.